Dog bite injuries. What are the laws in Oklahoma? We all love our furry friends and want to feel safe when walking them around the neighborhood. Most people think about dog bites that result from an owner not properly supervising their pet. However, it's equally dangerous to walk a dog without a proper leash, or for the dog to be walked by someone other than the dog's owner. Although the act of walking the dog was innocent enough, if done without proper precautions, it can result in an accident to an innocent person. In Tulsa, and in many communities in Oklahoma, all dogs must be on a leash when they are walking in public. This includes walking down the street or sidewalk in your neighborhood. The only persons authorized to walk the dog are one or more of the following. The dog's owner. A member of the owner's family or an agent of the dog's owner. An agent, for purposes of controlling a dog while on a leash, may be a dog walker that an owner hires to walk his or her dog, or it could be a friend. An agent is also someone acting on behalf of the owner. Oftentimes, people don't think about the consequences of allowing other people to walk their dogs. While many dogs are friendly, if walking an unfamiliar dog, you won't be able to predict that dog's behavior. When walking a dog down the street, it is imperative that the dog be on a restraint. Consider the following true story. A man was walking his small dog down the street. This was a routine habit. He suddenly notices a large brown dog come running his way with three young kids chasing after it. The man wanted to make sure the large dog didn't hurt his own smaller dog. To protect his dog he stepped on the larger dog's leash in an effort to separate this dog from his own dog. As the man stepped on the leash of the larger dog, he realized the leash was not really a dog leash, but was a blue rope often used with fishing boats. The three children that were chasing after the dog tried to pick the rope up to pull the dog back. As the children pulled the rope, the man slipped and fell on his elbow. At this moment he didn't realize the severity of his injuries. The three children ran to tell their father of the injuries. The father of the children told the man with the small dog that this larger dog was astray. His children were just walking this dog until the true owner was able to retrieve his dog. The injured man then went home. Subsequently he went to the hospital and learned he had severe injuries to his elbow. This story teaches us two things. First, only the owner of a dog, a family member of the owner, or an agent of the owner, should be walking the dog. Unlike the situation above, where we had a stray dog on a walk with three young children. Second, dogs should have proper leashes, not rope to create a makeshift leash. Had the father of the children simply left the dog alone while waiting for the owner, instead of allowing his three young children to walk it, the man would not have suffered injuries serious injury. If you've suffered a dog bite injury, a personal injury attorneys can help. If you've suffered an injury as a result of an animal attack our dog bite injury lawyers want to talk with you. Animal attacks are devastating to the victims. From medical problems to psychological damages, you've suffered damages. For those damages you are entitled to be compensated. This compensation includes all medical care for the injury. You are also entitled to pain and suffering that you've experienced. Additionally, you'll even be entitled for missed work. For a free consultation call the Kanya Law Office at 918-743-2233.